unach ekach. In Gaelic, we usually put uh, the definite article before it, which is a n t hyphen, and say unach ekach. It means the gap or notched mountain. Well, Glencoe is arguably Scotland's most scenic glen, and it's here we're doing a ridge walk between two Munroes. It's mainland Britain's narrowest ridge, and it's called the Anach Eagach. Ah! It is an extremely dangerous ridge, and that's why you shouldn't be attempting it too early on in your Munro career. A slip up there is no laughing matter, and a lot of people have been killed. The National Trust for Scotland own the whole of Glencoe, and of course the Anach Eagach. And they very sensibly put up this sign warning you that once you're up there on the ridge, there's no way off until the very end. A bit like this show, really. Glencoe is one of the most popular and busy areas in Scotland for climbers and walkers, and because of its difficulties, the Anach Eagach makes a good transition for most Monroe baggers between simple walking and tricky exposed scrambling. Well, we're more than halfway up Ambodach, the first top. It's not the Monroe, but it's where we first see the full view of the ridge. It's about 2,000 feet, and we've gained height very quickly. It's only taken us about an hour from the car park. You get a fantastic view from up here. You can see all the way down Glencoe and right across to the west. This is our route. The tops we'll be doing are marked in blue and the Monroes are marked in white. Like most linear ridge walks, you'll finish some miles down the road from where you started, so arrange a lift back or time it with public transport. Well, just below the Cairn of Ambodach is where all the views that make you go, <laughs> start, including this one, a jutting piece of rock called the Chancellor. I'm not going in that, so don't even think about it. Now, if the ridge ahead frightens you, don't forget you can do both Munroes as single peaks. In fact, you can come up as far as Ambodach, a simple top, and still have a fantastic day out that involves a good bit of leg muscle. All the views here you will ever need. Behind me, the Mamores, and beyond that, Ben Nevis. Pointing me one is Stob Ban, and Skur of Ain is there. Skur of Ain was my 50th Monroe, incidentally. Probably find that not at all interesting. Over here is Rannoch Moor, the Blackwater Reservoir. Uh, beyond that, Shehalion. Pointy little fellow, isn't he? He gets everywhere. You can see Shehalion from practically everywhere. Over here is Bukalesh of Moor. Bukalesh of Moor. Thank you. The Bidian Range. And all the way across to the west here at Balahulish is a uh, bend there. And you can actually see the uh, Glenfinnan Hills beyond that. But what we can really see is the ridge we are about to do. And what a ridge it is, nothing short of magnificent. nasty scrambling to get to the Monroe over there and you might find it surprising that people who do Monroes like myself sometimes suffer from vertigo which I do and which I'm suffering from a little bit now. I'm not terribly sure how I'm going to feel about this piece but I do have a healthy bit of terror in my stomach. I'm going down there and I might be some time. Well, what a chicken! But no wonder the Anahigach has such a fearsome reputation. It may look benign enough from the safety of the car park in Glencoe, but listen well to those who tell you that this is no place for the inexperienced. Halfway along the ridge is not a time to decide you'd rather be having tea and scones in the village. But if your mountaineering skills are up to it, then you won't be disappointed. Not only will the challenges ahead thrill you in any weather, but on a clear day, the airy exposure on all parts of this ridge is the best you can get short of going to sky. This is called Male Jerig. It means Red Hill. It's 3,118 feet. Of course, some people think it shouldn't be called the Red Hill. They think it should be called Hill of the brown underpants and when you see the ridge behind me we still have to go I think you'll know why dear viewer
We've been very lucky today though, A, because the weather's been great, there's not much wind and there's sun, and B, because we've only met one other party of people. Apparently if you do the Anakigis, at the weekends, you can sometimes queue to get over these pinnacles because the way is so narrow. Anyway, I am breathing very hard, the knot of fear in my stomach is tightening, and I'm going to attempt them. This is the narrowest part of the ridge, and the route goes over and round these two notorious pinnacles. Now I'm cheating slightly because researcher Ross is just ahead of me, making sure I don't stray off the safest route, as well as shouting rude things about how I climb like a donkey. I don't know what he means. But if you can stand the abuse, it's a good policy to have a companion with you who's done the ridge before. It makes you feel a lot more confident. Well, it depends how insolent they're being, of course. What does a gormless grackle mean? Terror city. Completely. Well, tell us what it was like. <laughs> I need my researcher, I need the man <laughs> with the beard. Well, here we are at the second Monroe at the end of this ridge walk. It's Skurnam Finny or Skurnam Finn or. <laughs> depending how you pronounce it, I'm not terribly sure what the accurate pronunciation is. It's 3,168 feet, and this has been a magnificent ridge. I can really recommend it. Fear and terror aside, just make sure you've got somebody with a beard alongside you to keep you right. We started out uh, a bit late today because the weather was very poor this morning, but we're being rewarded now with a magnificent sunset across Loch Leven. We can see the Balhulish Bridge uh, and the mountains beyond. It's wonderful.